today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this summery smoky eye, especially for hooded eyes. Now you can totally do this if you don't have hooded eyes, but I kind of give a couple tips and tricks along the way to make a smoky eye look really, really good on hooded eyes. And if you haven't noticed already, I have a new lamp. Look at that. It's pink and it has feathers on the inside. So it's like Lumiere and Plumet's baby. And I have it. I adopted her and she's sitting right behind me. And if you would like to name her, that would be fantastic. You can leave a comment in the comment section down below. Name my lamp. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like what you see here and you would like to hang out with me every Monday and every Friday, I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button down below. You do have to log into your YouTube account in order to do this. And if you want a notification whenever I post my videos, that notification bell right down there next to the red subscribe button that will give you one push notification twice a week when I post my future videos so you don't miss out on any of the fun and just keep watching. Alrighty, I'm going to start off the eye makeup look using the two primers I always use. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is Max Painterly Paint Pot. So now I'm going to use the, ooh, very, very bright Narcissist Loaded Palette. I'm pretty sure this was limited edition, but it has beautiful summer shades in here. This is the first time I will have used this palette. I think it is absolutely stunning, so I'm quite excited to get to use it. So I am going to be flipping this over quite a lot to see the names of the shadows, and I'm going to use my It Brushes for Ulta Stunning Eyeshadow Brush and dip it into the nice neutral shade called Windsor. It is this second shade right here in the palette. Just going to pick this up and place it all over thine lids. <laughs> now I'm going into the shade Foix? <laughs> I don't know, F-O-I-X, that's too fancy of a word for me, but it is this shade right here. And I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush. This is their number 19, picking this up placing it right into the high point of my crease. This is going to be very smoky. I already know that, at least. So I'm using this as a transition shade just to really give it that cool gradient look, which makes the smoky eye. Then I'm going into the shade Castile right here with the same exact brush, placing it in the same area, but just a touch lower. So far, I am super impressed with these NARS eyeshadows. They're pretty darn incredible. I don't think I've ever used a NARS. Oh, no, that's a lie. I have the other Narcissist palette that I used in my Aria makeup tutorial because she always wears very neutral shades. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, Aria Montgomery is a character on Pretty Little Liars played by Lucy Hale, who I've been told an inordinate amount of times, inordinate, is that the right word? A lot of times that I look like. <laughs> so now that I have packed a lot of that into the crease, I'm going to pick up my Morphe M519 brush, also picking up the shade Castile, and I'm going to really focus it into the outer and the inner corners. This is how you would get the halo eye look, but instead of leaving this light, I'm actually going to go in with an even darker shade to get that super smoky look. So just follow the halo technique and this will get you that perfect looking smoky eye. Now I know some people think that if they have hooded eyes, they can't really pull off the smoky eye look because it makes their eyes look smaller. But for me, I found that smoky eyes actually accent hooded eyes even more because we already kind of, no matter what look we're going for, have a smoky eye look because the crease is so close to our lid. So you see how I don't really have a lot of lid space? That provides room for a little bit more smokiness to happen. So that's what makes this smoky eye look so cool is that when you do the gradient look, it really appeals, appeals? <laughs> I can't come up with the right word today. It really complements a hooded eye. So that's what we're going for here today. 
Also with smoky eyes in particular, you wanna make sure that you use a pretty light hand. So back up on the brush so that the brush handle can rest in your hand, in the, the crook of that point. So it can go in between your thumb and your forefinger. <laughs> that way, everything will look super soft and blown out because you're not all the way down here and creating these really harsh lines. You're really softening it and blowing it out, which I think is what makes a really perfect smoky eye look. So now I'm going to pick up a brush I wish I could find right now. It would be very helpful. Thank you. The Sigma Eye Shading Brush. This is their E50. This is their E55. This is their E55. And I'm going to pick up the shade. What are you called? Really? Boo Marie? B E A U M A R I S. Bow Maris. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this shade. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm gonna pick up this shade right here with the E55 and place it like padding almost into the white portion that's left. So first I pat and then I take the color and go back and forth just to fill it in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You like my fallout? It's like really attractive. <laughs> then to add a really cool summery effect, I'm going to pick up this peachy shade here, which is called Almwick. And I'm going to pick it up with that initial brush we went in with, and I'm just going to place it right on top of the two transition shades. I think that this is such a beautiful summery shade and it really brings it all together. With hooded eyes, we do have a lot of crease space, so I do like to use as much of it as possible for my shades. I used to do looks where they would be like really pulled in and I found that it made my eye look pretty small in comparison to using a lot of the space with the shade and then it really opened up my eyes. So I am going to go to the lower lash line, but really quickly I'm going to pick up this shade right here called Newberry Street and I'm going to grab my BH Cosmetics. This is from their Pink Dot collection and it's the little small one and I'm going to pick this up and use it to highlight my brow bone. I like how small and precise this brush is. And when you're highlighting your brow bone, you don't wanna leave it like just this really stark line, just like that. I like to take the brush and bring it down into the transition shades, just so that it blends it a little bit more instead of having this like harsh, harsh highlight. I am going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, but only after I have smoked out the bottom portion of my eyeballs. So I'm going to pick up this shade again, whatever it's called, foie. It's too fancy for me. And then I'm going to put it from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. This is my Morphe E18 brush. I know which one it is without looking because this is my number one absolute favorite brush by Morphe. I'm going to go back in and just kind of drag down the color some so that it kind of mirrors what I've got going on up top. Since this comes up so high, I don't want this to stay super tight to the lower lash line because that would look kind of odd, but I also don't want to bring it all the way down here either, just to bring it down some so that it will mimic it a little bit better. Then I'm going into Castile with the same brush and putting it in the same area, but just a little bit tighter to the lash line. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water, no matter how hard I try. So then of course I'm going to take this one. Is this the, like the mantis one? <laughs> no. There's nothing like that back there. Almwick. And I'm just going to place it right on top of the two shades. So now to get that super, 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 super smoky look, I am going to pick up the shade Versailles. Look at that, I knew how to pronounce one. And it's this dark shade here on a pencil brush. This is my Sigma E30 and tap off the excess because you don't want it floating all over your skin, even though it's probably gonna end up there anyway. 
so I'm just going to lightly tug on my eyeball like I'm not supposed to but you know going in for more Yeah, smoky eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm putting this all along my lash line. Probably didn't say it. You probably picked it up. Picked it up. Picked up on it. But might as well tell you since, you know, it is a tutorial and stuff. There's that. Then I'm going in with whatever is left on this E55 and just kind of going over that line to make sure that it's all very gradient and that there isn't like one line. You know what I mean? Like smokes it out. Yeah. And I don't think I'm going to do liner on the top. I am just going to go in with, I know you know what I'm reaching for, my Maybelline Define Line for the top lining and the water lining. Look away if you must, but I like this step. Makes your lashes look all good. Makes your eye look really smoky and stuff. And now I'm going to curl my lashes. Going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and placing one nice light coat on my lashes. And you could totally do more mascara if you want to go for a non-lash look. But because I'm feeling extra today, we're gonna go ahead and put some lashes on. You see how pretty this can be when you just do mascara, just for a softer look. So if you're like truly on a beach vacation and you're going out on a date that evening, that's a perfect look for that. And if you're just opposed to fake lashes, which I completely understand, then you can do this too. Now I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash. This is a travel size. That's why this guy looks so like miniature, because he is. I'm just going to Wiggle this back and forth. This is my favorite mascara to use on the lower lashes because the curved edge of the mascara wand makes it very easy to fit right with the curve of your lower lash line. I like the comb of it because it separates your lashes really well and I have never experienced raccoon eyes or smudging or flaking with this mascara. So this is definitely a winner in my book, especially for lower lashes. So now I'm going to be grabbing my House of Lashes featherettes, which just happen to be sitting right here in front of me because I pulled them this morning. And I'm going to use my Revron, Rev, Revron, <laughs> Revlon Precision Lash Glue. This is my absolute favorite and I can only find it at Rite Aid. Let's check in on those lashes. Don't want to give it too long. Yeah, this one looks ready. All right, pressure's on. Oh, this always panics me no matter what. How many hundreds of times I've done this on myself and other people and it still worries me. So, don't feel bad if you still stress out over these. Cause I do. Here's hoping this one goes as smoothly like brows. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, it's a does it. I'm gonna cut this, okay? Be right back. Woo! The struggle is real sometimes. It's exhausting. So I'm going to go in with my Dolly Wink liquid liner here in a minute once those have finally decided to settle down on my face. Let's see. Are you playing along? Stay. Almost forgot to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, so I'm going back into the Narcissist palette and I'm going to pick up, is it Newberry Street? Yes, I actually remembered it. Newberry? Newberry? I don't know. It's this bright shade and I'm going to pick up my Tarte Unicorn brush, whichever one this is, and put it right into the inner corner. Just to brighten it up. Now I'm going to go in with my Dolly Wink liquid liner and just go right over top of the lashes. As you can see, it's like a little grayed out. So just going over it covers up any glue that might still be drying or that's just kind of in the wrong place. Just provides a nice seamless look. 
which is faux show what we go in for. So this is my completed summer smoky eye makeup look. If you would like to become virtual frenzies, I have all of my socials linked right up here for you. I'm at Faces by Kate B on pretty much every social platform there is. And if you would like to check out my vlog channel, it's Being Kate B here on YouTube. I have it linked in the down bar down below. <laughs> all right, my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.